Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a highly irregular graph? And I should mention that these highly irregular graphs we're talking about are also sometimes called locally irregular graphs. With that said, let's get into the lesson. We'll begin with a quick recap of regular graphs. I'm sure you all remember what regular graphs are, but just a really quick recap to be sure. So here's an example of a regular graph. This is my go-to example. So a regular graph is a graph whose vertices all have the same degree. In this example, every vertex has degree 2. This vertex is adjacent to two vertices. This vertex is adjacent to two vertices, and so on for the other vertices in this graph. So let me just jot that description down. So there it is, a graph is regular if all of its vertices have the same degree. So then when we start to consider irregular graphs, we might think that it's natural to define an irregular graph as any graph whose vertices all have distinct degrees. So let me just write out that description. So this description is the same as saying that a graph is irregular if none of its vertices have the same degree. But as it turns out, this is not a very interesting definition. And I already did a video on this definition of irregular graphs. If you just type into YouTube what is an irregular graph, it should come up, but I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. It turns out that if this is how we define irregular graphs, then the only irregular graph is the graph that just has a single solitary vertex. And we go through a bit of a proof of this fact in that video of mine that I just mentioned. So I definitely check that video out if you're not familiar with this definition of irregular graphs. But anyways, since this definition of irregular graph didn't really lead to anything interesting, mathematicians continued thinking what would a definition of irregular graphs be that might lead to some interesting problems and some interesting results. And that is where highly irregular or locally irregular graphs come in. So let's go ahead and jot down a description of a highly irregular graph. So finally here, we have a more interesting definition of a sort of irregular graph. So a graph is highly irregular if for every vertex v, every vertex of the graph, the vertices adjacent to v all have distinct degrees. So let me draw you a simple example of a highly irregular graph. Here are the edges, and we'll plop down some vertices here. So this is a highly irregular graph. And why is this a highly irregular graph? Well, because if we look at any vertex of this graph, all of its neighbors, being the adjacent vertices, will have distinct degrees. So let's see that in action, and we'll begin by quickly labeling the degrees of these vertices. This vertex has degree 1, this vertex has degree 2, this one has degree 2, and this one has degree 1. So if we begin looking at this vertex here, it only has one neighbor, so all of its neighbors have distinct degrees, and that's a little bit boring. If we look at this vertex here, though, it has two neighbors, and both of those vertices have distinct degrees, 1 and 2. Same thing with this vertex here. Its two neighbors also have distinct degrees, and this vertex here only has one neighbor, so all of its neighbors have distinct degrees. So again, a graph is highly irregular if for every vertex in the graph, the vertices adjacent to that vertex all have distinct degrees. Let's look at another example. I'll move this over to the side a little bit, and we'll look at another example with a pretty similar shape, but a couple more vertices and edges. So here is another example of a highly irregular graph, and again, these are sometimes called locally irregular graphs. And I'll just jot that down up here, locally irregular. So let's quickly label the vertices with their degrees in this graph. This vertex has degree 1, this vertex has degree 3, this one has degree 2, degree 2, degree 3, and degree 1. So this is another beautiful, highly irregular graph. If we look at this vertex, all of its neighbors have distinct degrees, of course, because it only has one neighbor. If we look at this vertex, all of its neighbors have distinct degrees 1, 2, and 3. Same thing if we look at this vertex, all of its neighbors have distinct degrees, one's got 2, and the other one has degree 3. So if you pick any vertex in this graph, 
all of the adjacent vertices have distinct degrees. That's what makes it a highly irregular graph. One thing that I think is a little bit tricky I want to point out is notice it's okay if two adjacent vertices have the same degree. It just means that in order for this graph to be highly irregular, neither of these vertices can be adjacent to an additional vertex that also has that same degree, which is a degree of two in this case. So if, for example, we took away this vertex and edge, we'll cover that up real quick. If we did that, then, this vertex here now has a degree of two instead of three. So now this graph is no longer highly irregular because this vertex is adjacent to two vertices that have the same degree. So the point is that the degree of any individual vertex doesn't matter. What matters are the degrees of the adjacent vertices. All of those degrees have to be distinct in order for the graph to be highly irregular. So that is what a highly irregular or locally irregular graph is. One more time, a graph is highly irregular if, for every vertex in the graph, the vertices adjacent to that vertex all have distinct degrees. And highly irregular graphs also have some interesting properties that perhaps we could discuss in another lesson. But until then, I encourage you to try to find some of their interesting properties on your own. Try to sketch out some of your own highly irregular graphs. Now, let me just leave you with another pair of highly irregular graphs to look at. So here are two more snazzy examples of highly irregular graphs. This one over here on the right, of course, is an example of a disconnected highly irregular graph. And that should do it for today's lesson, so I hope this video helped you understand what highly irregular graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Show me another picture I'll try my best to see what happened to us, baby? I lost.